What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Episode 123. We got a special guest in the building, man. We got we got husband, we got father, radio personality, actor, goddamn comedian. He <laughs> do it all, man. We got comedian Mike Larry in the building, man. What's good with you, What's man? What's the deal? What's the deal, man? Yeah, right, man? Man, man, I'm good, man. Hanging man. out with y'all, man. What's the deal? Man, appreciate you coming on the show, man. Oh, you already know it, man. man. I had to. I had it's, to. It's funny, the day we, we had talk, I'm like, I'm like my son's graduation, man. Kindergarten, and John, I look over right there, and that dog right there. Yeah, that's <laughs> I tell my wife, like, I just talked to him this morning, like, for real, that morning yeah. about coming on the show. Yeah. So, yeah, man, everything good, though? Man, everything beautiful, man. For sure, everything man. Everything beautiful. That's I what's mean, up. Shaking and baking, you yeah, know what I mean? Oh, yeah, got to, got to. Now, we start every show with Salute Me While I'm Here. Instead of waiting for people to pass away and make that long Facebook status, like, how you love Craig and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You salute them right now so you get their flowers while you can still smell them. But it can't be the, the typical answer. It can't be mom, dad. Wife, kids, it gotta be somebody outside that immediate Ooh. circle that you want to give some flowers and show some love to. Got you. So, so find somebody like that. Yeah, yeah, outside of that. Yeah, cause um, it's easy to say mom, dudes, and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> mom and dad gone. Yeah. Nigga. So, you know oh, what I'm saying? Same yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same so, here. Right? Recipe so, to all uh, of them. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, my sister, man, got a new sister. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I do my sister, man. Okay. Um, Yes, uh, man, one of the strongest women I know. Been through a whole lot. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And um, she really, um, I got a younger sister, the sister that's younger than her, but, you know, after my mom and them died, mm -hmm. you know, she kind of like was the mother over her. You yeah, know, for so sure. I'm the oldest brother, but she, you know, she's yeah. older than her, and she kind of like, you know, just been that, that, that staple for, for her. Sure. You know no, what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, because, yeah, man, it's always easy to say, you know saying, people, your wife, kids, yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you got to think, sometimes, sometimes people don't be know who to say. Like, yeah. damn, girl, you ain't got no love for nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't feel like nobody deserves no flowers. Yeah, you know man? man, yeah, man. Yeah. So, man, I ain't got, man, I'm just going to salute people that's working, man. Like, you know, I ain't got nobody in particular. It's 123 yeah. episodes. I'm kind of running out of people to salute, man. <laughs> so, man, if you got something going on, man, just, hey, just keep, you keep pushing. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, the views ain't going to look right. The, 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 the people in the in the crowd ain't gonna look right, but hey man, if you keep working at it, that junk will happen. It may it happen because people be quick to quit. Say that a couple of times fast. Man, <laughs> and they be drunk. quick to give up on something because it just ain't immediate success. Yeah, they got a picture on on Facebook. They post all the time with the dude with the sledgehammer. Yeah, that's real close. For sure, and the other for sure. dude turn around like yep. you, you. You just never know how close you are, man. Nah, you fast, know what I'm saying? Fast, man. I had a partner of mine about to quit. He was about to quit in, in uh, comedy. Yeah. And he ended up, um, right before he was about to quit, man, um, somebody called him for a big, big gig, man. So yeah. he moved out to L.A. and everything. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, man. You know, hey. you never know, man. You never know, man. Some people, the race come hey, in quick because you right there. Some people, it's going to take a little bit longer, man. Yeah, we're It's talking. all good, man. Everybody, hey, so just keep just keep running. Keep chasing that junk. But, uh, man, it's 2022 week. What well, we have way through the mark. How, man, how your year been so far, man? man my year, my year been spectacular. Yeah. You know, it's um, it, it, I'm realizing it's, it's what you make it. For you sure. know what I'm saying? No, for sure. It, anything you do, you you know, you you choose to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether I choose to be sad or choose to be, no matter what type of tragedy you go through, you you, you choose your emotions on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I've been choosing to be happy, dog, through mm -hmm. everything, and I've been choosing to. To make a, a, a impact, yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying, in, in my career and everything I got going on. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Now we say you choose to be happy, man. A lot of times, you know, we can we can have a good year or a good run and stuff, and then something coming, bam, hit us in the face, and we ain't expecting it. When that shit, when stuff like that happen, like how do you just, you know, what I'm saying, navigate through those those issues or those problems that you just didn't even see coming? Like, and what's crazy is I, I ain't gonna lie and say that you know I don't get down or you know what I mean or things don't get the best of me, but. The most important thing I got is God. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, fast, yeah. So so that's what that's what I rely on. That's what I reach to. But um I, I find the good in it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you know, like you say you lost your mom's dead, like like, you know, 
if I live in it and sit in it, I won't be able to go on. Yeah, no. Nah, you know nah. what I'm saying? So I got to find something like, okay, well, then at least I had him this long, or at least this happened, this exactly. happened. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and, 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 you know, I'm, I'm able to move. Like, I hate when people are like, man, he looking down on you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's in a better place. No, yeah, no, no he's not. Place. No, I'm so in a better no. place right here, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I thought it was the only one who. No, man. No, I hate no. that. Man, a lady told me, that older lady told me that. Uh, <laughs> nigga, I was leaving church, bro. I had said something about it, because, you know, I got a nonprofit called 100% Real Fathers, and I was talking about my dad you know what i'm saying yeah. and uh you know i talked about how he passed and all that at the end of my comedy show and she was like i was leaving out she was like it's okay baby yeah. now now one thing about it is that he's with the lord and he's in a better place and he's looking over you yeah. and i don't want to be like lady yes. i don't want to hear that you yeah know for sure uh, but that's why i stopped even like kind of like expressing stuff on facebook like man she she's still with you bro i like, know yeah. she's not no. yeah she's not with I me there, I, I did not see her yesterday yeah though. i did like, not see her yesterday <laughs> man yeah, and man. if she with me then i mean i'm somewhere i ain't you know what i'm saying <laughs> Like if I wake up and I see her, I, I know it's a problem. Like damn, you know I mean? man, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't transition. Yeah, for sure, you know for sure. Yeah, I thought I was the only one who kind of like hate that, man. I hate that, bro. Yeah, I, I hate that. I understand man. where it's coming from, but I do too. Yeah. But, but when you, when you in it, it's like, man, I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I remember my pastor said it. he was like, uh, he was talking about his mother. He was like, man, he said it. Somebody was like, yeah. Uh, it's okay. It's all. He's like, no, it ain't okay. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? For sure. This is my past. That's what made me love him so much, man. Pastor Claude Alamey, yeah, man. For Dope sure, dude, man. For sure, man. Now, uh, speaking of the, like the, the year and stuff, do you ever like reflect on the year? You know, saying you know, end of the year is December. You ever reflect on things going to next year? Like, all right, I need to eliminate this, or I need to go ahead and change this, or you just go with the flow. Dog, I, I would like to say that I, I reflect on the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I don't even look. I'd be like, all right, what am I do now? You know what I'm saying? For sure, yeah, like, yeah. Like, dang, that's 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 good, dog. Yeah. I, I never thought about that. I don't never really like, all right, this, all right, last year I was, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. I think I'm just so much in go mode. Like, yeah. like things be hitting me. Like, all right, do this. Yeah. Boom, do that. Boom, and then I just start. Sometimes I move too fast. Yeah. You know but what I think saying? it's better like that because when you sit down and actually write out your goals, you for the most part you never really achieve it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You better, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm eat grass because I'm gonna stay away from meat. Like, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you go into February, you wrote these goals down in January, and you just. Yeah. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I don't think there's nothing wrong with goals. I was just telling my daughter about writing goals. I, I would like to do it. I yeah. just don't do it. I don't know why, though. For sure. I, I feel like I would do better, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I'm like, all right, get to this point, this point. But it's like. <laughs> yeah, I don't sure. know, man. Yeah, man. Like, take too much time. Like, okay, it's on in February the 13th. I'm going <laughs> yeah, yeah. March 2nd. Was that, was and then exactly. you start missing all them boys. I mean, I'm yeah. terrible, man. Or you just, be that person, be like, hey, I'm going to start on Monday. Nigga, I'll start I got a month. joke about that, bro. <laughs> I got a joke about that with my diet, man. I was like, I'm going to start on Monday, dude. And what's crazy is I eat crazy during the weekend. Like, yeah, I don't even care, bro, because I'm starting on Monday. You know what I'm talking about, nigga? I'm going bananas. Like, yeah, yeah I need another piece. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I don't care because this is my last couple days. Yeah, exactly. Like, Monday yeah, come good. in, nigga. Yeah. I'm going straight. Man, Monday come. I'm like, damn, man. My boy called me. Hey, bro, got, hey, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings got the cheap wings. <laughs> like, damn, how much is it? 25 cents a week. Ah, <laughs> Let me shit on now. I start next Monday, man. No, you know for sure. Man? For sure. Boy, you know, nigga, a whole two months that went past. I'm, I'm, I'm like 398 pounds now. Why is always Monday, though? Why can't that be Wednesday? Why like, can't it be Monday? Wednesday? Yeah, though. it's always Monday. I'm going to start on Monday, though. Like, And that's how me and my wife be, man. We like, yeah, we going to go crazy this weekend. Because Monday... We gonna do it. Monday comes, she be like, she make up excuse. I'm cramping. I gotta go next Monday. Like damn. Yeah. And here make my goofy self like, all right, bet next Monday. Yeah. Next Monday wanna be a next year. Like, all right, we gonna do it this year. Real talk. It's bro. hard, man. Like you gotta have some major willpower just to dedicate to whatever you wanna do. If it's that yeah. lifestyle, eating, if it's working out, if it's whatever. Yeah. It's that, kind of that, that's my thing, man. Like I challenge myself. And I'm one of them people like my wife tells me all the time, she's like, Yeah, when you make your mind up, you go hard. Like if sure. I make my mind up, dog, I think oh, yeah. I done went ten days just on water. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like sure, yeah. like I, I make my like I ain't ate meat. <laughs> I know it don't look like it. I ain't ate meat <laughs> in two and a half years, man. Dang, man. Yeah. So, so what, what what how do you do that? Like you know, ain't nothing, yeah. all, no shrimp, Nigga, no I fish? don't even know, man. I don't even know how I'm doing that. Like like I am real spirit like I'm real spiritual. So I'm yeah. telling you, right before that pandemic God was telling me like you know like this is like December January so he's like stay away from the meat and all that yeah. at the time man, my blood pressure was high my cholesterol was kind of high sure, a little yeah. bit and he had he, he told me to do that I'm like oh, why yeah. I just exercised something he, yeah. I kept hearing it like and I'm like alright I quit then bump it for sure so so I stopped and then next thing you know nigga March come you know what I'm saying the whole pandemic happened yeah. and I ended up getting sick the end of March but by the time March came 
my blood pressure and all that was lower. My my cholesterol was lower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I just feel like, dog, he saved my life. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because sure. I'm watching my boys. Them niggas just had the same little situations. Yeah. Them niggas ain't make it. Yeah, no, fast, fast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And like I said, some people say they, they do that, but they still eat, like, you know, chicken or they eat yeah. seafood, whatever man, like I that. Ain't you say you cold that. turkey. No cheese, no seafood, no, you know what I'm saying? Man. But I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't going crazy to the point where, where, um, I'm like looking at the label. No, this got. This got <laughs> okay. um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about For all sure. that. For sure, but, man. but I am, um, I am on some, you know, like I'm conscious about it. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Then when you made that transition, like not eating meat, like did you feel different? Like your body wise? Yeah, like, I felt felt way different, man. I felt um, I had more energy and everything, man. Yeah. To be honest with you, I, I thought it was a lie. I'm like, man, man, people be lying. You know what I'm saying? I eat meat, now I can do 29 jumping jacks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, man, shut up, nigga. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. like, but I did feel more, you know what I'm saying? More yeah, energetic I had more a little bit. energy, man. I wasn't as tired all the time. You yeah, know what I'm saying? that's dope, man. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could. That's, I'll be, man, that's hard. I can do. I think I can do the red meat. I can do the red meat. Like, but that, Bro, he, he told me to get down to 260. Yeah. And then I can go back to, you know what I'm saying? For sure. And, and, and as you see, I must be struggling because it's been two and a half, three years. Like, yeah. I, <laughs> I ain't got to that. I'm like, for man, sure. I'm, I'm we, starting Monday. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. we going to get there, dog. Yeah. Now, you touched on it, man. You 100% uh, real fathers. And we just had Father's Day, to, uh, you know, this past Sunday or whatever. Yeah. Like, like how is Mike, Mike Larry the father, dog? Like, you know what I'm oh, saying? Man. What were some, well, some early challenges, you know what I'm saying, with being a father at first? Um, man, bro, that's deep. Um, I, I, I had to bag up a little bit and talk about my dad, you know okay. what I'm saying? So my mom passed. Mm -hmm. My dad, you know what I'm saying, of course, you know, took care of all of us. I was the oldest. And um, he ended up going to jail, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But at the time, I was like 18 or okay. something. When we went to jail, and uh, I ended up having to take care of my sister and brother. You For know sure, what I'm saying? Yeah. But I watched him be a dad. Like, he was always in the crib. He was the neighborhood dad. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, fast need those. So I learned, you know, just watching him, I learned how to be a father. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Transitioning yeah. until um, 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 being married, having two kids. Me and her had two kids. At the mm -hmm. time, my daughter was four. My son was nine. Mm -hmm. And then we got divorced. Okay. But she was supposed to take the kids and all that. She took the crib and all that for all that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. I move out, I'm gonna move on, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this chick, this chick going yeah. back to my pop's crib, you For know sure. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm feeling, you know, I'm floating. Yeah. Bro, she she tells me she about to move to Atlanta and that she can't bring the kids with her. Yeah. She dropped them niggas off, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, you can't drop me. <laughs> Hold on, dog. You into the crib, the car, all that. Yeah, like, now you want you, you to drop, everything. like, you just trying to destroy me, nigga, you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so I'm like, I ain't gonna better do this, nigga. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm tripping, bro. Yeah. And then God was like, "Yeah, you, 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 you I, I, I fixed you, dog. Yeah, like sure. she was a headache, so I'm moving her to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then I'm giving you what you really want is your kids. Exactly, exactly. He's like, figure it out. I'm yeah. like, that same yeah. situation. I'm, I was in too. A little. Oh, not, for real? Well, we we uh, we wasn't married. <laughs> we was oh. a high school girlfriend boyfriend. Yeah. And um, once we broke up, it was just like, all right. You got custody of him. We kind of like made an agreement within ourselves. And I got, I had, when we was in Detroit together, I had my son during the week. She had my weekends. Oh. Once she decided, we both decided her and her dude was moving to Florida. I moved to Texas. I took him with me. Yeah. And he be, he was with me during the school year and he'd go with her for the summer. Oh. And that's how, that's what we still do to this day. My son about to be 16 in December. Oh, that's what's up, dog. So, so yeah. And then I told her when we was together, like, you know, we ever, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but we ever break up, like, you know, Shad gonna be with me, like, yeah, right. I'm like, all right, you see how he is with me now. Nah. Yeah. He always up under me, and that's how it happened. Man, <laughs> that's crazy, dog. Yeah, man. So, like, like, so, you know, you had that, you know, how you get through that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I know your, in your joke, you know what I'm saying? You was talking about how, like, the kids in the car went while you yeah, got hurry yeah. up and do your set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, how I, was it? Like, and that was real. Yeah. So, so when I had them, nigga, they, they was like, my, like I said, my son was nine. My daughter was, was four going on five. Yeah. And um, I was literally pulling up the comedy spots and I'll park in front of the, you know, in front of the place. Like, yeah. my son was nine, but he was really 15. For you sure, know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, he's like, grown. Like, yeah. my, my son at seven, he went in, he, kids be playing, he'd be like this, like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was like, grown, he was still his hat. Still his hat. I'm like, good, good day, madam. You know what I mean? Like, he was grown as hell. And so, and so I'll pull up to, I'll tell him, hey, man, I'm gonna be right back, man. Watch, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. know, keep the doors locked, something happened, you know, to blow the horn, man. For you sure. know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So I'm running the club, comedy club, I tell the, you know, the host, whoever it was, doing a popcorn at the time. I was like, hey, man, I'm about to, um, 
I got my kids out in the car, man. I need to hurry up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hungry about grabbing the mic, man. So I, I get, I go, um, he get to bring me on stage. Say, hey, man, this next dude I'm bringing to the stage then left his kids in the car, yo. Yeah, for sure. Make some noise for Mike Larry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And from that point on, I start saying it when I go on stage. Like, I ain't, ain't going to be up here too long, man. I left my kids in the car. Yeah, yeah, And it was like, people was laughing. I'm like, oh, man, that's my little thing. Yeah, man, so yeah. Yo, you know yo, what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, for yeah, sure. That's yo. dope. That's dope, man. But that show, like, the hunger with you, like, you ain't going to let that, you know what I'm saying, stop you from getting to the where you, where you got to get to. Bro, it's like I was talking about finding the good and, and, and all that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, how do you even find the good and all that? Yeah. I think one thing about it, it too, is... When you got a passion, chase your passion. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, keep reinventing, trying to find new ways to be creative. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Got to. Because I think when, like, right right now what y'all doing, man, y'all creative genius, geniuses. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, for sure. You know, and, and without creativity, you would, you would die. Yeah, no, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. though, I be thinking like, though, if I ain't have comedy and all that, nigga, I don't know how people... Who, who don't use their creativity yeah. function. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Some people be too scared to even try. Oh, they definitely scared. Scared failure, man. man. You know, I, I ain't gonna lie. I was like that too with this whole show. He been telling me it started, and I was like, dog, ain't nobody gonna pay no attention. Ain't nobody gonna come on the show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, shoot, you just episode 123. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, and too, man, like, like even with your testimony, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you've been through, people like, man, oh, you know, ain't nobody paying attention, but if you just reach two or three people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If this no. episode reach one person who may got custody of kids or something like, damn, my man did it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or who want to start a podcast? Well, man, well, episode 123, he did it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, for Never sure. know who you inspire, man. Yeah, man. What's your advice to, to new fathers out here, man? Because there's a lot of people, man, you know, Father's Day, of course, we're going to celebrate the ones that's doing their job. There's a lot of dudes who, you know what I'm saying, get in these situations and don't know what to do. Like, I was a young father, you know what I'm saying? I was like 19, 20, and yeah. I just had to figure it out. Yeah, me so too. What, what's your advice? Like, yeah, I'm quite sure you probably started 100 percent real, real fathers due to you losing your father and you know saying what you went through. Yeah, I, I started it really, man, due to having custody of him, and then when I was trying to get help, it wasn't no programs to help me. Mm -hmm. You know, there was no programs for single fathers, nigga. And she had me on child support, and I had the kids. You Damn. know what I'm saying? Like it was just yeah. it was like an all around little you know what I'm saying wash out for a dad. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, man, if I get straight, I'm I'm I want to help. Fathers, that's you know what I'm saying. For sure. At least send them to point better, point them to different programs. But yeah. my my advice would be, ain't no perfect father. Yeah, no, it ain't. like no, ain't no like nigga, ain't no perfect nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, like you, you think you do best, you know what I'm saying? But you just do your best, best you can, man. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying trying no. to lead them the right way. And you definitely need those those uh, those outlets. You know what I'm saying? As young mothers, young fathers, just yeah. in general, like you know what I'm saying, you need those outlets, big brothers and stuff, because you might not. You know, had that at the crib or whatever, man. So you need that, and that's, I salute you for that, man. So yeah, if you hey, get with my man, hundred percent real fathers uh, is on IG or just follow so, your page. So IG, all that, and everything. Okay, okay. Yo, yo, now, so. uh, growing up, man, school craft uh, Strathmore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talk yeah. to me about you know when your mom and pops was around, like how it was in the crib growing up, man. Oh like, man, what was the atmosphere? It was. It was. Uh, we grew up. I grew up poor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when you grew up in the city. You don't even know, you know what I'm saying? In my hood, everybody was poor. So For we sure. ain't, I ain't know we was poor. Yeah, until you got older, I'm like, we doing good, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't got cardboard in my shoe. This nigga do, though. You know what I'm saying? Sure. For sure. Like, you ain't know, you know what I'm saying, until you leave out. My, my, my cousin them lived in Rosedale Park. Mm -hmm. And we used to go over there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, these niggas got a pool. Yeah, for sure. Like, nigga, all we had was the little, you know, the little fake little pool that was this high. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga put their feet in. Yeah, yeah. But we was letting that boy trying to swim in it. You yeah, know for I'm sure. Saying? My son was just in there yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so I, you know, growing up in that man was it was it was cool, man, because the whole block was family. Yeah, no. You go to each each house you go to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When the Pistons back when the Pistons were playing their championship games in '89, yeah. '88, and, and man, everybody had their TV on the front porch. Yeah, you man. You know what I'm saying? Good it was, times. You, you, we could be playing and we'll stop and go sit on the porch to try and see what the score is. Yeah, it's just love, sure. man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. It's just and, love. And that's what that, that's what's missing, man. I think yeah. like those neighborhoods, like people don't even know who their neighbors are. No. Let alone the block. You know no, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, 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 we in a what you looking at? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, what you looking at, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep looking. Nigga, bro, I'm in. I do the same thing sometimes. Like, <laughs> dude, stay next door, man. Dude, stay next door. <laughs> he just moved over there, boy. Be careful, me. You're knocking shit. I know, I'm about man. to, though. I was, I was close. <laughs> he, he hit his head. I was like, this nigga's just going to kill himself. It was my head. It was my head. Well, was... You laugh one more time. You did, nigga. <laughs> and here lies a man. <laughs> hey, we going to get hella views. <laughs> I'll be doing the podcast next week. Yeah, yeah, my man. I know y'all remember my man. He was cool, man. Yeah, salute him, man. We're we gonna stuff you and leave you right here. Like, yeah, man, cool dude, man. He don't talk. 
know what I'm saying? Oh, duh. Yeah, man, but it was it was uh, it was crazy growing up, bro. It was. I definitely gonna post that clip. <laughs> my name, my that name, kill my that was him, man. We almost knocked this shelf out. No, no, but so yeah, you said growing up, man. You know, what I'm saying you you said I was real poor, man. What's what's the poorest y'all ever been to? Remember, like a funny story, like. I just know, like with me, you know, say boiling water, man. Yeah. And then take a bath with my little brother, taking it before me because he's not as dirty. Yeah. Because he's younger. Oh damn. So I got to jump in after him and hurry up and get that. Damn. Yeah. You. You. Damn. <laughs> damn, man. Nigga, you need a hug, nigga. This nigga been through a lot. <laughs> I almost cried on that one, boy. Hey, <laughs> maybe I don't know what poor he is. <laughs> this nigga was doing bad. <laughs> this nigga needed Jesus. Bro, at bro. Nigga said, yeah, yeah. You know, my brother take a bath. Yeah. We use the same water, but he had to get him. God. Yeah. And we set minutes apart. So at the time. I'm like, you know, third, like about about ten, so he, you know, three, whatever. So yeah. my mom put him in that mug, you know, hurry up and get his important parts and stuff, and I go right, jump right in. Okay, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Say that, go ahead and say that water. So yeah, duh. Oh yeah, he take pictures <laughs> while we doing this. <laughs> they pull no, real quick. No, yeah. I'm talking about you jumping in like that. That's bad, man. Damn. Oh, yeah, for sure. But 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 it it what? <laughs> I, I I mean, nigga, we ain't had lights and it was time. Like you know, this <laughs> we ain't realize lights was out till you come home from school. You come in the house, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, damn. Hey, dad, the bulb is out in the front room. <laughs> yeah. He be like, yeah. The, he be like going back, like, damn, the bulb is out everywhere. Duh. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Come find out your power out or something. Yeah, or, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, heating the microwave. I mean, uh, I know our gas is off. We would heat the, heat the water up in the microwave and yep, wash yep. up in the sink. Like yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But like you said, man, those days, man, it, it molds you to who you are now. Yeah, you know I mean? make so, you never want to go back to that. Never sure. want your kids to experience that. Oh no! But at facts. the same time, you have. I'm happy. I went through everything. I went through, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas, be like, would you change something? One change. I'm happy, dog. I went yeah. Through it. No, fast. Now, man, you already know. Like with this podcast, I always like to talk about music because music is is a part of your life. No matter yeah, what yeah, you do, music yeah. is a part of it. <clears throat> Who was some er um, early artists that you used to, you know, mess with heavy just because mom and dad playing it? She cooking. Hey, man, I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm an R&B dude, man. For sure. Like, I, 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 I mess with day. rap. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, you know, Carol, it's a while. I like I like old school rap, too, but yeah. um, even the new ones, you know what I'm saying? My man, way off. But uh, I'm, I'm an R&B you know, so I was just listening to uh, Michael Jackson Butterfly yeah. before I pulled up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, hey, that that's that's one of the that's top ten, bro. That's but top yo, something, it, dog. Yeah, man. This fact. way, uh, uh, like the, the way whole way it come on, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was like Nita, my mother was a Nita Baker fan. Like you mm -hmm. know, so I can't even every time I hear Nita Baker, I just want to start cleaning up. You oh know yeah, for sure. I mean? Yeah, you already know what time it yeah, is. Yeah, Saturday morning, Nita Baker come on. Smell the pie sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, wash the walls. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, boy, everything smell like bleach. And yep. pancakes, you know yep, what I'm yep, 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 yep. <laughs> well, you already know it's a good morning, dog. If yeah. you don't smell that junk, you're like, all right, she having a bad day. Man, they, these new chicks don't even know nothing about no bleach and pancakes. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, man, for sure. You know what I'm saying? The kids don't know nothing about man, that, man. that's one thing I love about my wife when, I, when we first started, you know what I'm saying, living together. I'm like, damn, she clean up just like my mama do. Yeah. She a keeper, dog. Yeah, yeah, Because my mama yeah. says two things that got to be clean in the house, the kitchen and the bathroom. Because yeah, yep. that's where women spend their most time at. Yep. that junk dirty, yep. and they probably dirty. That, that, and and, and <laughs> my, my old dude, everybody said that same thing my granddaddy told me that man anytime you met with a woman yeah. and her bathroom and her kitchen ain't clean for she, sure she a dirty little roach yeah that's what yeah. Call it. Dirty. <laughs> like, damn a dirty roach yeah man yeah. yeah for sure now um you know what i'm saying Hey man, pan to this 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 calendar, man. I see you looked at it twice, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. That boy say twenty twenty one. I think it's hey. time. I think he might just like the little food is up top. Hey. That <laughs> sure look good, man. No, hey, <laughs> I, I said I was gonna buy Granddad a calendar for the basement a couple months ago. Still ain't did it, dog. Yeah. We live in the past, dog. We ain't. Yeah, we twenty twenty one. That was a, that was a good month, dog. Yeah, good that was a good year. December. Duh, for yeah. sure. For sure, man. Hey man, what's some what's something as a little kid you wanted to be bro that you never told nobody some silly shit like <laughs> me i want to be a tap dancer dog i watching gregory hans like i could do that hey man hey man y'all hear this dude hey man <laughs> hey man we need to get this dude a hug for it hey, <laughs> he had to take a bath with his brother <laughs> After the water was dirty, and then he wanted to be a tap dancer, man. For sure. I survived. He survived. Hey, I'm surprised dog, he survived. Life. I watched us uh, Savion Glover. And, uh, and, I'm uh, lying, bro. I wanted to be a tap dancer too. Nigga, I used to practice. Nigga. No, me too. I wanted my shoes to make the noise. Dog. I'm like, how these niggas don't make? Why my shoes don't sound like that? Bro, I'll be in the kitchen going ham. Yeah. Man, I wanted them lessons bad, bro. Hey, can you do something though? Can you no, do? I can't oh, do that, okay, dog. Yeah. Yeah, two things I want to do, I can't do tap and jit. Oh, jit, yeah, yeah. I used to want a jit. I used to want a jit when I go to the club, see all the girls on the niggas. Yeah, niggas. Oh, you got that intro, that little first and, part, that's it. Duh. And, and then I hate the niggas who start off slow like they ain't while doing. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, I just think I kill this shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
yeah. Hey, come yeah. up, he come up on smooth as hell. Yeah. Like, oh, he about to kill it. I'm hating in the corner like this nigga. Though. Yeah, and the girl's like, ah. That's what my nigga though Aaron was. Nigga Aaron's be having. Oh my dog, this nigga. Damn, I wish I could jet. Man, I spent I the whole summer trying to learn. Couldn't get that job right though. I just wanted to jet too, dog. Man, <laughs> I still kind of want. I'm like, man, I want to learn a little bit. Man, my eyes always look like Bill Cobb. I'm like, that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Looking goofy as hell, Looking dog. Stupid, bro. Bro, man. Now, but I feel like I'm like, man, <laughs> but I'm really looking like this dude. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, none of this ain't none of this moving. Your legs is moving, looking crazy, man. dog. Man, dog. Now, man, I, I know growing up, man, you was an athlete, man. I see that guy ruined. Uh, hey, hey, how'd you know? Why you know all this stuff, man? <laughs> hey, man, come on. Nigga, man. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I, 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 I passed past the first two things you said. I'm like, wait, man, all right, that's cool. Now this nigga, I just know this too. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was a Hooper man, had a scholarship Hooper. to Central Michigan. Hey, hold on, <laughs> Hey, who this nigga know, man? You know, he got, you know, he got, uh, he got hit by two cars, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I was about to tell you about. My father went to jail, but I was like, I ain't want to go into all oh, that. Oh, so talk about no, that. No, we can talk about oh, it though. Oh yeah, okay, but yeah, yeah, talk about that. Like, man, you was a Hooper and stuff, man. Like, yeah, that's that's my, that's what I play all my life, man. Like, I never would thought in a million years I'd be doing comedy, man. For sure, like, for like, sure. I, w I wouldn't, I wasn't even really a class clown, really. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Per se, like I crack jokes, but. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I, um, I, I walked on to Central Michigan. Okay. Walked on to Central Michigan and um, and, and 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 got a scholarship, dog. Man, yeah, so yeah. yeah, you had to boil your ass off then. Yeah, yeah, I was hoping. Man. I I come home, um, was doing a break. I'm at home kicking it with my boys. You know how you come back from college, everybody sure. pull up like what up, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we outside in the middle of the street, like yeah, you know something, 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 something. And a drunk driver, so cars is parked. Yeah. <laughs> Like this, and um, another car is right here. Mm. And so a drunk driver, we standing right here. My boy pulled up. We standing right here. I'm talking to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Another one of my partners right here too. My old dude car is faced the wrong way. He had a Bronco, one of them little small Broncos with the roll bar on the front. Okay. And then my boy's faced this way. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we out here kicking it. A drunk driver come down and hit this car. Boom. Yeah. And pushes it. You know what I'm saying? He start pushing it. Boom. We looking like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga, who hit cars? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. <laughs> exactly, so yeah. I'm getting ready to try and go to the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. My boy is like taking all day. He keep looking. I'm like, go, 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 nigga. And my man end up smashing in this one. Caught me in between them. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I end up, I was sitting like on top of the car, man. Yeah. The, uh, my father's truck was on top of my legs. You know Damn. what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. My father man. came out. And shot the dude. Yeah. Shot the dude, went to jail. And um that's how I ended up watching my sisters and them and stuff. For sure. Damn, man. So damn, so you that's two losses in one. Your pops and your 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 hoop career. Mm-hmm. And my mom, like two years prior. So Damn. Yep. That's all bad, dog. Like yeah. so with that, like, shit, who I start off <laughs> like with your <laughs> with your pops going to jail first. Like how, how much time did he? Um... Yeah, man, he only did like two years though. Okay, okay, okay. They, yeah, I mean, they, 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 did he know, kill a dude if you don't mind me? Okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they ain't had no witnesses. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I guess I can say it now. He gone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Now he gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My daddy did it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to touch the Bob, but I was too young. <laughs> <laughs> I stood told on the nigga. Nah, man, no. but so yeah, he, uh, yeah, he did it. Yeah. <laughs> <Duh. laughs> Y'all was right the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> nigga lied. <laughs> Damn, man. Well, so he, yeah, of course, yeah. Hey, I would have came out there same thing. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think I, I, I knew that the judge. I know people knew. You know, what sure. the yeah, judge yeah, yeah. knew. You know what I'm saying? But the judge, like, you know, like nigga, I, you know, mm -hmm. like. They, you know, it was, it was uh, insanity, in the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now would you instantly, like, when you in, in the hospital, you start thinking about, damn, I can't hoop no more? Yeah, I was, man, I was mentally done. Bro. Yeah. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't walk for like six, seven months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I really start, originally start gaining a lot of weight, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Depressed, you know what I'm yeah, saying? At, yeah, at the yeah. time, I probably was like 195 or something, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or something, but I'd start gaining weight, man, and, you know, just mentally messed up. You know for sure, no, man? you would be though. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Hell yeah, yeah, man. Especially you say that's your first love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You lost that joint. That was the first thing I ever knew. Like, yeah. I, I knew nothing else but I'm talking about sleeping with a ball. You know what I'm saying? Laying in the bed, you know what I'm saying? Flicking that boy picture yeah, for sure. Shooting with with socks on in the winter time. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Three, two, one, counting it off like you hitting the last game, winning the shot, that yeah. kind of stuff, man. Man, what, what high school you was hooping at? Uh Rufford. You Rufford. know, yeah, when the Rufford. Oh yeah, that one Myers now, John, man. Rest yeah, piece yeah. Rufford. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Rufford. Yeah, man. Hey, Rufford had some hoopers. I remember when when I during my time it was Deion Harris and then Manny Harris. 
Oh, Man yeah. here is probably one of the coldest dudes in the city that don't get yeah. talked about, yeah, dog. Yeah, you right, dog. Man here was a beast, dog. Yeah, he who, was so nice, who, What was your game, man? You, you came down there, you had the handles, the jumper. Like, who? I was like more like a, like a, I don't know if you remember old school uh, player like Isaiah Thomas. For sure, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's man. who, you know what I'm saying? The old hey, Pistons Isaiah. Like, that was yeah. identical almost, bro. You, damn, you was balling, you know man. <laughs> yeah, identical, man. I still pat that boy. Yeah, I, mean, see, I see you when you yeah. post, you was I in the gym shooting the jump. You know what I'm saying? But. No, it just look weird when you three hundred. <laughs> well, my man name was UConn Clear. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he was a big dude. He was cold though, though. Yeah. Did you ever think that you would get back to it though? Like you ever thought like I I'm tried a- my best, dog. I yeah. tried. I kept thinking like you know I could do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm For like, sure. I'm about to get straight once I start and being able to walk more. I start going to the gym, working out. Yeah. I ended up playing a semi pro league for uh, the Pistons. Had a semi pro league at, at Joe Dumars at okay. one point in time. I played with them, but my legs just wasn't. You know what I'm it saying? It wasn't it though. It was just like. I kept cramping and it was just tough. Yeah. Then next thing you know, I got my, this chick pregnant. Yeah. Which got him have my son. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was yeah. like, damn. Hey you know? man, hoop dreams, boy. I hoop. had them. And then for ninth grade, tenth grade, I went from five three to five eight. So I'm like, bet I'm gonna be a six one point guard. Yeah, so I'm still five eight. <laughs> <laughs> like also, I used to be like, dog. That was I love it. I, it it's to to the point now. I get mad when I'm hooping because I can't do what I used to do. I'm th- I just yeah. turned thirty six yesterday. I'm like, damn, I can't do none of the shit I used to do, dog. Like, hey, and that's the crazy <laughs> thing about it, bro, is that, like, even now, like, you know, when I start, when I first start getting big, big dudes always try to come check me. Yeah, think it was Because they think we're going to be in the post. <laughs> like, we ain't in the post. You know what I'm saying? I'm up top. You know what I'm saying? I like, hook them a couple of times. Yeah. And they like, hey, hold on, switch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Put somebody regular on the other fellow this fat dude. Yo. You know what I'm saying? I think Ray They have dog. a fat dude on the fat dude. Yeah, dog. Yeah, and Man. so, but now... I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't. I, I go ahead, big dude. Well, let's let's talk about how we ain't gonna run down this boy. I ain't going. Hey, hey you know you get old when both you and the nigga like, dog. Yeah. I'm just here for cardio. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what time it is, dog. Yeah, I'm just hey, here for cardio. Man, for sure, man. I remember hooping with the old heads, man. My uncle come get me. We go hooping my uncle Jim, and uh, she. I was the fat. He used to call me Speedy. I used to hate being on their team. Like, nigga, hey, Rashad, nigga. I'm like, dog, I do everything, nigga. These niggas just send picks and, 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 and yeah. passing the ball, dog. Hey, dog, I remember I remember when I was younger, I remember my uncles and all them. Like, you know, they used to be cold back, you know, play at UCLA. My old dude did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Sure. He was cold. But I remember when they started getting, when I got older, they was older. You know what I'm saying? It was in their late 40s. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And so I'm like, man, let's let's hoop, man. Y'all niggas keep sure. shooting around. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I want to shoot around. They're like, no, nah, man, we're just shooting jump shots. Nah, nigga, this ain't fun. For sure, yeah, But yeah. now I get it. Like, yeah. my son, I'm like, yeah, let's hoop. I'm like, man, let's shoot the shots, man. Yeah, man, yeah, let's shoot around, like, man. Who, who can shoot better? Best out of 10. You know what I'm saying? They was like, man, and I, you know. I can still shoot that thing too. Yeah, so. dog, that's funny, so I can man. win some money. Like, I'm, I'm, I put the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga sure. talking. I put the money up. Yeah, on yeah. jump shots. Oh, jump shots. Yeah, yeah. you want to play one on one, and you you won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for sure. I won't say you won, but you won. For, man, for sure, man. Yeah, cause I was just hooping my kids at the AU. Man, I'm like, dog, I'm hurting at the words. Like, I'm trying to show these niggas how to do it. We hooping. I ain't hooped the whole practice with them niggas. I ain't got home like, duh. I shouldn't even did that. Yeah. <laughs> and they young, so is everybody in high school, like eighth grade to tenth grade too. I'm like, duh. Yeah, that's what I be. These little niggas got too much energy, bro. So fast forward, man. You know, hooping kind of go away from um, from you, whatever, because the accident. Uh, you working, and that's when you get the comedy bug because somebody tell you about it. <laughs> so, yeah. so usually, you know, when people, you know, saying you being a comedian, people be like, oh man, I was, I was, you know, doing comedy at a young age, this and third, but you got. You know what I'm saying? He was yeah. older than jump. Hey, this nigga the FBI, man. <laughs> yeah, I uh, he definitely did his own work. I, uh, uh, he blew on me back, cuz. Um, uh, yeah, I'm wondering how this nigga know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, man, I I, uh, what, what, what happened was I was working at Home Depot. Okay. And um, at the time, uh, we was moving to a new Home Depot. The yeah. one on Seven Mile and Myers. I don't know if you know what that's at. Sure. Seven Mile and Myers, we had opened that one up. Mm-hmm. And so when they moved this one, they was asking people to, the whole, I worked on 8 Mile and Greenfield. The whole store moved over there and then they was bringing other people from other stores. For sure. And so this other guy named Blackberry, comedian Blackberry, he okay. be with Ha Davis all the time. Okay, now. okay. They brought him over there too. But at the time, he was doing comedy. He'd been doing comedy about two years. Yeah. And so, uh, at the Home Depot, I was, nigga, I was the king. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you come to the break room, I'm frying you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I was the, man, I was trying to make the best out of this new life. Exactly, I mean, you know exactly, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, um, um, where he was at, he was the same way. Mm-hmm. So when he got here, we kind of, you know what I'm saying? 
It's like, nigga, what you doing here? What you doing here? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We kind of spaced off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, look at your hair. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then after a while, we became cool. And then we started attacking everybody else. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, but they was like, they was telling me, even before I met him, they was like, hey, man, that's a dude who really do comedy. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we need to, you know, they was trying, everybody in the store trying to hook me up with him. Like, yeah. hey, ain't on. Because this nigga funny. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I, I went to watch him. And nigga did terrible. Yeah. He was like, he was like, yeah, come on down, man, come check me out. I'm like, all right, bet. Yeah. So me and my ex wife at the time, we were watching him, and this nigga at, <laughs> at Home Depot, he was funny. <laughs> at this place, this nigga was bombing. I was like, this nigga doing bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so he took it on stage, like, like, yeah, man, it was tough. I'm like, yeah, I'm straight, bro. So I stay at Home Depot where I'm yeah, Kevin sure. Hart. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so I'm talking about, bro, this nigga get fired like two or three weeks later from mm. cutting hair. Cutting yeah. somebody's hair in the bathroom. Yeah, damn. Yeah, he's cutting somebody's hair. Makes some extra money in job. Man, they fired this nigga, right? Yeah. He stays in contact with me for three years, dog. Okay. He would call me periodically. Hey, man, what's up? What you doing, man? You ready to come out? Like, yeah. Nah. Nigga, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be a comedian. For nigga. sure. Yeah, I'm good. No more. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He was like, man, I'm telling you. And so, man, probably about the third year, he called me one day, and I just got fired from Home Depot. Damn. I got fired for stealing. I'm gonna say what you anyway, get fired for. <laughs> yeah, and, and 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 I stole by mistake, and then I got addicted to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, would you? Hey, we all can attest to that. Nigga, I stole like I I, I hooked. Mm -hmm. Nigga told me he paid for the shingles, but come to find out he didn't. Yeah. But he showed me a fake receipt, you know what I'm saying, from oh, earlier. Yeah. So, but I ain't checked the date. I'm like, oh yeah, you all right, a pile of shingles, bet. I put the pile of shingles on this truck, and they give me a five. Like, all right, bro, appreciate it. I'm like, all right, bet. I just put the money in my pocket. I'm thinking, like, it's $10, $15, something. Mm -hmm. I go upstairs, I pull out, man, it's $300. I'm like, what the fuck? Hold on, cuz. You know what I'm saying? You already know what time it is. Nigga. Nigga, I was like, damn. I'm sitting there, everybody talking about, what up, though? Boy, y'all good, man? Like, damn, this nigga got three hundred in there. I done stole. You know what I'm saying? It's it's messed up when you steal and you don't want to steal. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't want to steal, nigga. I, I bleed Home Depot, man. Like, like, these my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Bro. As I got out, I punched out. I think I punched out. I told him I gotta go home, man. I ain't <laughs> yeah, feeling good. Think about that. I had to think I was riding in the car like, man, that's three hundred, nigga, in, in like six minutes. Yeah, for sure. I said like, I ain't gonna do that no more, though. I come back the next day because this was my department. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the I'm the department manager. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So when the stuff come up missing, it's, on it's you. like yeah, it's like hey, man, we you know we gotta keep track of your, your inventory. You ain't the man in here yeah, no more because yeah, yeah. you know you lose too much inventory. I'm like, yeah, I want to be the man in here. I'm, yeah. I'm mentally brainwashed with this. For you know sure. what I'm saying? For sure. Dog, nigga come back there the next day. That nigga said, hey, I need one more of them. I'm like, damn, man. So you you say a whole pallet? <laughs> My nigga said, I need a whole pallet, man. You straight? You got me? <laughs> damn. Yeah. Duh. Uh, where your truck at, man? <laughs> They give me another play. That's six hundred in two days. Yeah, man. in twelve minutes. In twelve minutes, I'm Duh. like, bro, this is what I do. Man. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you got carried away. I got, but I'm gonna tell you how I got caught. So it probably it probably some bull how you got caught too. Man, bro, I hooked the nigga up with a with a pile of shingles. Same thing. Yeah. The nigga on the pallet it had two bundles that wasn't supposed to be on the pallet. Okay. The different colors. Okay. So I hooked him up like three o'clock. This nigga come back in. We close at ten. This nigga come back in at nine forty-five. Yeah. With this raggedy car. Man. With two bundles on there. He's like, yeah, I want to return these. I'm like, hey dog, you can't, nigga. Yeah. Just buy the shingles, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he's like, yeah, you know, man. They gave me the wrong ones, bro. At this time, yeah. Home Depot at around ten o'clock is 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 yeah, dead yeah, yeah, in that yeah. boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, cuz, nigga, look, bro. I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah. Come back tomorrow. Yeah, for you know sure. I give you seven singles. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And he's like, no, man, I need them, man, because I got to start first thing in the morning, man. They on my head. I said, well, then go ahead and do whatever you want to do, bro, and then just go back out the door because ain't nobody on that door. Yeah. I hear the car. He go back out. Duh. And then come back in. <laughs> hey, these dimensionals. Hey, nigga. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Duh. He was like, yeah, man. So I said, hey, man, just go on. Do whatever you're going to do, cuz. You got to quit. The cameras is watching yeah, for us. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there ain't no traffic, so we just like. Yeah, we right here. Damn. We're looking at the camera like this. Like, <laughs> what these niggas doing? Look at these stupid niggas, man. All you hear is this car. <laughs> Dog, next thing I know, bro, I knew I knew it was over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, so the, the, he went to go back out the door. One of the cashiers was like, did you pay for that, sir? And he was like, yeah, no, my man at all. Oh, so, <laughs> Yeah. I paid for it. You can ask my man, cause you know what I'm saying. He remember earlier and what happened here. 
Man, they, man, I was like, nigga, I, the next day I went to sign the paperwork going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the absence. Man. I came back, they was waiting on me. Like, yeah, glad to have you back. We well, went and signed these papers, nigga. Yeah. Is this you on this camera? You ever, <laughs> this I knew Duh. I was caught. Them niggas had pictures of me doing the stuff, right? Multiple times, so, like, yeah, right, damn. Nigga, loading the stuff up, yeah. and, you know what I'm saying, checking the receipt and all that. And so, this is how you know you, 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 you know, as a kid, nigga, you know, when you wrong, somebody show you something, I had to look at it. I'm like, let me see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know what that was. I don't you know what. Stay as your heart. Yeah, I'm like, oh, no. No, what's going on? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know, man. That came. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that it could be. <laughs> could be. It do look like me. Man, that nigga's Duh. like, yeah, man, we're going to have to uh, let you go. Damn it, dog. Man, duh. How long was you doing that, Judd, though? Like, because you probably was going crazy. I remember he was going crazy. I was going man. crazy, bro. I remember when everybody lights was out, the generators were going. I was running the generators out of there. And they, I was going crazy. I'm going to tell you, uh, I, I, I did it for a while. I was yeah. good at it, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was I was bad. good because I, I remember I hooked this. I remember one time I was doing it, and one of the niggas in my department uh, seen me. Mm. He, was like, he, he was on to it. Like, what you doing, nigga? I was like, uh, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, I that. He was like, no, man, nigga, I seen what happened. Yeah. I was like, damn. I was yeah. like, look, so, bro, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. I For told sure. this nigga what it is. And this nigga was posted up, bro. <laughs> this nigga was posted. Like, like, he wouldn't do no work all day. I was his boss. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, dog, you got to do some work, man. He's yeah. like, yeah, I am, bro. Hold on. What's up, man? You straight, man? Y'all need something? Yeah. Man, you can't ask people do they need yeah, something. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Duh. Like, duh. And they fired him like in two weeks. Like, Damn. he was gone. Yeah, good. I'm glad he ain't telling you, though. No, he ain't telling me. Yeah, he was straight, duh. nigga. But that's, yeah. That's funny, man. Damn, so you, you know, get back to you say you, you finally get on the stage, right? Yeah, I get on the stage. And that's when you get that, yo, shit, your first time on stage, you get a standing ovation. At the, at the little Who is this nigga, man? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? You, you at the bar, so tell me right then. You probably thought, oh, I'm about to blow up. Um, I, Bro, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, 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 it was it was all so surreal. Like, it was like, it was like I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I was just in a moment, like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just, just happening. For you know sure. What I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I never really thought, like, I'm about to blow up. For sure. I was like, man, I'm having fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the time, I was going through a divorce. You know what I'm saying? That's when I was divorcing their men, their mother going through all we was going through just before she separated. Mm -hmm. And so I was just, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was happy to be outside. Man. No, for sure. Yeah. And away from her. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. I got fired. Then I plugged her in with the job. And this nigga started <laughs> acting better than me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you just, so you been at home all day. So the kitchen. And I'm like, hey, Nick. Yeah, hey, that's what he had, dog. Yeah, like yeah. you never worked. You know yeah, what I'm for saying? For sure, for sure. But yeah, she started acting Complain different, bro. She was cheating with people. I, I plugged her in with a, with a, so the district manager that went to, he moved over to Lowe's. And, mm -hmm. and I called him like, hey, man, my, my wife need a job, man. You know, he's like, oh, no, bring her over here. So she over here at Lowe's with dudes who I work with at Home Depot yeah. messing with these. And, they, and one of my boys called me like, hey, man, um, yeah. hey, you and your, your wife, how you and your wife doing? I'm like, hey, <laughs> you, know, you know something going on when he's they like, start the question off like that. <laughs> okay, okay, see so y'all. Okay, well, that's cool, man. What's going on, nigga? What's up? I mean... Hey man, I don't want to be in that. Hey nigga, hold on. What's oh, happening? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, you are. Right, man. Yeah, Dang. bro, she was over there fooling, man. Man, so how, how mad you get? Like, what you do? That was unusual, dog. You just... <laughs> oh, nigga, I ain't, ain't telling you, man. We <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember one time, dog. My son, my old dog. You know, I was clamming up on that on the apartments trying to figure out what was going hey, on. Hey, bro, I was Spider Man out here. No, after we so, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. So after we separated. And she did all that. We separated and all that. I remember I was riding, leaving from a chick house. I'm yeah. riding down. I'm like, I do drive-bys by her crib. I'm like, man, because you got to remember, bro. <laughs> she got my crib. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? The bed. Like, everything I bought is in this house. For sure. I looked. I said, oh, she got company? I'm yeah. just, hey, I'm leaving the chick crib. Yeah, yeah. But I just realized she got company. I'm like, this thing got this company? <laughs> I'm like, I got pull over, bro. I'm like, let me see what's happening, man. So I go to the back. I know where, you know what I'm saying, the back room part, we had a, a, a extra room on, off our room. Yeah. It was like a little, like entertainment, like, For you sure. know what I'm saying? So I go to the back window, nigga, I look in the window. Man, this nigga standing up, a nigga kissing on her stomach. I'm like, oh, oh she hurt, dog. I kill you, <laughs> dog. Hey, so. And you just came from drilling I'm up. like, do all. So. <laughs> So she go to the she she like she make him stop 
And she started closing the curtains. Like, oh, let me close the curtains. And she got ready to close the curtain that I was in. Like, Larry? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yup, come on outside. Yeah, nigga, I'm here. She's like, Duh. we don't even go yet. Yeah, we, yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, this Just get away my kids. Duh. I'll kill her back. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Man. She's like, man, we ain't been together in two months. Like, yeah. <laughs> you, you mad how, she, how fast she moved on? Man, I'm mad, bro. And bro, I just left for Chicken House, bro. Yeah, man. That's how you, man. That's how I you just be. couldn't take it, dog. It was like, it was too much. It was like, yeah, it's like my, it was too much going on, dog. For sure. The car I bought is in the driveway. Man. The crib, the grass looking good. I'm like, the grass looking good. I'll fix this grass. Dog, you know for sure. Saying? Yeah, man. Damn, yeah, that's, it's always bad. Once you're doing something, you know she's doing something because you out here doing it. Yeah. And you go crazy, dog. Like I said, I, turn, I went to Spider Man. I turned Spider Man climbing up on the dang on apartment, <laughs> dog, trying to figure shit out. I'm, my mom called me, like, man, your goofy ass, come, come on. Because like, I ain't moved back with my mama and John. I'm like, damn, dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, speaking of that stand ovation, man, you got to. Um, for your first show, you got a show coming up, man, July 30th. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at the Redford Theater, whatever, yeah. man. Uh, trying not to bash a lot. And this probably be your, well, this be your biggest show since your biggest show in Milwaukee. That yeah. was your biggest show in Milwaukee, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I mean, how's this, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, approaching this, and this, this is going to be your biggest stand up. This, this, like, so the show in Milwaukee was, uh, was with Bruce Bruce like we did the Milwaukee Theater there's like 5500 you know what I'm saying shit 5500 yeah that was cool but the the, the biggest show I've done I just say because I put it on was my first one man show like five years in the game I did a one man show okay and so this to this show that I got coming up just gonna be the highlight of my career mm -hmm. because it's something I'm doing you know what I'm saying yeah. something I'm putting together and um, taping it for Netflix. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's just that one, one. Yeah, for you know sure. What I mean? yeah, that's dope, man. It's that one, bro. You, who who, who going to be some of the ones that's, uh, that's um, other comedians that are going to be on the show? Nobody. Or just you? Oh, it's just it's you. Oh, yeah, it's just strictly you. Okay, yeah, that's one dope. man yeah, show, yeah. man. One yeah, man show. Anything? Any, any nerves, man? Any nervousness going on? Like approaching man, it? I ain't going to lie, bro. As far as. Just it, I'm nervous a little bit. You know, I'm 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 nervous before I go on stage. Anytime before I go on stage, I'm nervous. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I ain't scared or I ain't in fear. It's yeah. just nervousness because you just never know what's about to happen. For you sure, know what I'm saying? for sure. But as far as even with this show, man, I'm, I'm less fearful because because for one, God told me to do it, so I'm I'm one of the ones like man, he telling me to do this, I'm just gonna do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm really like just putting it all in his hands and just doing the work. It's faith without work is dead. And uh, just trusting the whole process. For of sure, it. man. For sure. Now, you know, what I'm saying this is your uh, your your first major stand up uh, comedy special. Uh, what's some comedy specials that you still look at to this day as classics? Like for me, as uh, Martin, uh, you so crazy. Yeah. Like I watch that over and over again, yeah. man. What's one you can watch over and over again, though? Uh, that, that Richard Pryor Sunset be I mean yeah. Sunset Strip. Um, yeah. Um, always that the Larry Eddie the Eddie joined when he was young, he was twenty years old. Yeah, you know for sure. What I'm for sure. Yeah. Um, the, the, the Kings of Comedy, I think I just watched that too many times. You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think I wore it out. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to see it no more because I think I wore it out. But that was one of the ones at one point, man. Mm -hmm. But the, and the one you used to like what you said. Yeah, man. Yeah. You so crazy. I remember Run Tell that, man. I was still too young to go see it. We had to get somebody to buy our ticket, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, dog. Martin, like, that was my guy. I already felt like Martin should replace D.L. Hughley in, in uh, <laughs> Kings of Comedy. Yeah. Just because I was yeah. a, that, that is him, Bernie Mac, and um, I remember being a little kid, my dad, uh, Robin, uh, Robin Harris. Mm. For, uh, yeah, Robin Harris is a beast. Yeah, he was cold, man. He was cold. I'm gonna tell you somebody else, bro. People don't really, you know, nobody rock with me when I say this, but uh, Bill Cosby himself. Yeah. Only because you ever watched it? Mm -hmm. Only because um, it was the way he was telling these stories, dog. Yeah, yeah. It was like, and it was one of the first tapes I ever heard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I really kind of, kind of drew interest a little bit in the comedy. Mm -hmm. It was one of the first tapes I ever heard. And I was just, and I would listen to this story, this nigga telling, like, talking about his kids and his wife, and we're in the dentist and the dentist. Was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. like his whole, the way he he make, he draw a picture, bro. Yeah, when he for talking. sure. No, for sure. And, and it was just, he just one of the ones for me, man. Oh, yeah, he definitely, he definitely an icon, man, for real. People be like, man, be a cause now. Yeah. But I, I ain't gonna lie, man, it was just, even, I got a sitcom that I, that I filmed. It was called, it's called Just Us. Mm -hmm. And it was about me having custody of my kids. It, it, it's like a Bill Cosby film. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Cosby hey, show. Yeah, now, you, you, you know, your impersonation of Cosby dead on, but I love your junk with uh, Judge Mathis, dog. Like, it just, uh, <laughs> I watched that junk, dog. You got it down to a, to a T, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, w w like, man, when you got people like, you know, you got people that can imitate people, man, like, you, how hard is that, like, practicing, working on voices and stuff? Like, what's my man name? I forgot, dog. He, be, he used to be on SNL. 
And he, oh, oh, uh, damn, dog. Yeah, he do Denzel. He do yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, like, like that's a talent, bro. So how you yeah. like, you know, who? If y'all crack it, no, he do it no, too. No, he talking about um, my man. He just wrong asked, skin guy. Damn, I forget his name, dog. But he uh. He was on Damn. SNL for like six years in jail, yeah. and, and they, they let him go. Whatever. What but is yeah. this dude name, man? But yeah. Anyway. So it's just something you just practice working. Like, damn, I can I can sign nah, Judge Mathis. Denzel was different. Like the Biggie and all that, and Bill Cosby. I've been doing Bill Cosby since I was in like uh, middle school. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? But the, the Judge Mathis was. I used to personate teachers. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I was one of the ones I personate teachers, and people like, man, do it again. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm doing it. <laughs> but. Um, it was a we had a gym teacher named Mr. Oliver. Okay. And and he nigga, we would go to the gym. Yeah. And you know, when you young, you wanna hoop. Yeah, for sure. You know what All, I'm saying? Every but day he, in gym. He didn't want us to hoop. Like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't care about us hooping. Yeah. And so if we talk or do anything, he would he'd give us a zero for sure. And then not let us hoop. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. we were trying to be good and he'd be like, he'd be sitting there with his legs folded, talking about some <laughs> Hell man, y'all ain't gotta participate. <laughs> you just get a zero for the day and three more you out for the rest of the year, man. <laughs> Hell, that's the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He was like, that nigga, man, hate us. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure, yeah. We be waiting all. He be like, if you be good, I'll let y'all play some basketball. <laughs> you know, nigga, we'll be looking at the time like, dang, oh, it's almost. And then by the time it's like five minutes to the bell ring, I'm like, man, this nigga will let us win. Yeah, for sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Duh, yeah, man. Mr. He's like my uh my judge teacher, Mr. Ship, dog. That fool used to have us. We had we had to do you had to do everything, badminton. Goddamn swim. Oh. Man, everything, dog. I hate it. I'm like, dog, when can we get to basketball? Then we get to basketball, you guys doing stupid drills. I'm like, man, forget this, dog. That's how Mr. Ballard was at Cooley, man. He was like that. He would make us do play tennis. And yeah, like, like come on, man. come here to play tennis? Yeah, yeah man. Like, Badminton. What's that little kickball? Oh, yeah, man. Everybody want to do all that, man. We trying to hoop, man. Yeah. Now, um, is it tough, man, telling jokes and, and um, being on stage without cussing, man? Mm. Like to being being clean, to clean jokes. Not for me, man, because I don't really cuss that much off stage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I was cussing, but I wasn't. I mean, when I first started, I was cussing a lot because it was like a defense mechanism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was nervous, so I was using. I felt like cuss words would make it better. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when I really started learning the art of writing, I'm like. Mm. I don't gotta cuss, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, like it, 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 it ain't needed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And again, I don't be saying this all day, but God told me not to cuss. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was like directing me into some another path, and I'm like, no, man, you tripping? Yeah, cause you know I thought I might, I'm going cuss, nigga. Yeah, cause I thought it might change when you did that. Um, did uh, stand up in the church? I thought it might change then, but you said it, it did prior to that. Oh yeah, it did prior to that, yo. Yeah, yo, yeah. Yo, yo, Cause yo. I might think that that gotta be tough, man. Cause like you know, you hear these uh these comedians and they just telling you know what I'm saying way they talking and stuff like that. I thought it might have been tough for you to make that transition. I, I, to be I just it. don't um, I I don't want to never be a church comedian. Yeah, no, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be a gospel comedian, Christian comedian. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> But like it's lame or something. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying no, like, yeah, like you know yeah. what I'm saying like that ain't me you yeah, know what I'm saying no. but, I, but I, I can be a, a conversationalist I can talk about family issues and mm -hmm. my kids and your you know what I'm saying sure, my, no, my wife my girl like hood stuff hood yeah. niggas like niggas one of them words I probably gonna never let go oh, of no, yeah, that's my uncle word. be like yeah. man you need to quit saying that N word I'm like <laughs> you talking about nigga you know what I'm saying I'm never gonna stop saying Dang, that's like, a word that's it's kinda hard man I, it's hard I want to yeah. but I just like I remember I was like yeah I'm gonna stop saying nigga Man, cause nigga, I'll be saying like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I went right back to it. I was like, yeah, this ain't. Yeah. I mean, I, I better stop calling my kids nigga. Like, nigga, yeah. put that shit. I called my little grandbaby. I was like, man, this little nigga crazy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. My wife was like, don't call him no nigga. I'm like, hey, no, man. my kids was niggas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, now, man, you touched on uh, you said something about Haha Davis uh, about your your partner do skits with him. How you be? How you feel about uh, like comedians that come up off of skits, man? I feel like it's, I feel like I used to feel like it was you know it was weak. I'm like man, they don't man, they ain't just doing skits and until I started trying to do skits, yeah. And I was like, oh, this shit tough. <laughs> this yeah. is a job, man. Yeah, for you sure. edit the stuff, then put it back, and then try and make it. And like it's a it's, and then put it up, then break the right caption, then post it, and wait for the niggas to see if they like it. And they don't like it, take that one, do something that like exactly. It's a job, bro. No, it is. It it's is a job. It is. But then some of them realize that they. Better off doing that when they try getting that stage. Like, oh. oh no, the stage a beast. Yeah. One thing about it, and I, I tell every internet dude who's doing internet comedy, mm -hmm. at some point in time when them niggas book you do them stage, you're gonna have to come respect the comedy game. For sure. No, the same facts. way we had to respect the internet game. When we start doing these skits, I respect it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you, that comedy, it, 
it's not a quick process. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, like niggas like, man, I'm about to, you know, I'm writing some jokes, but I got some jokes for it. Yeah. No, you don't. I yeah. promise you don't. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I promise you, you about to bomb. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, dog. Two jokes may work, but for the most part, unless you, you get some niggas who just funny on the streets and you can give them a mic and they, and they can go. Yeah. I ain't going to say that, but 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 for the most part, an average person who's trying to do comedy, it's going to take time for them to get funny. For sure, for you gotta sure. You got to work these jokes out for years, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, what's that joke that you you, you just knew was going to hit, but it didn't, and I ain't going to say it just didn't hit as, as like you thought it was. Like, was there a joke you just worked on? Like, I'm damn, this shit, I put my heart into this joke, and then... You ain't get that that that, that love. I, well, I had a couple of them. Yeah, I had like, a couple damn. of them. But you gotta know how to get up out of it. Like I'm one of the ones who, if it ain't working, oh yeah, man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what else happened. You know what I'm yeah, saying? For like, sure. I'm yeah, for sure. Yeah, out of there, yeah. bro. Yeah, that, you know that's what, what experience though. And if that don't work. I mean, I'm kind of shoes my man got on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm not losing, dog. Yeah, no, I, ain't, I did winning. not come here to lose. Exactly, you know what I'm man. saying? So, I'm like Nino Brown. If I go down, I'm taking everybody with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Now, 16 years in the game, man. Is you where you, are you where you want to be? Um, I thought about that. I thought about now. This I did think about a couple years ago. I'm like, hey man, like I've been doing this comedy like 15, 14, 15 years, this is two years. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, I, I want to be here. I want to be there. Then I was like. I had to appreciate where, what I've done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, though, I got about 13 movies out. You sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can really go to Amazon Prime or, you know, I got, I mean, I got a couple things in Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. um, through my kids growing up in high school, I, I, my first five years, you know, I was working on and off or something. Mm -hmm. But after five years, for the last 10 years, dog, I've been doing nothing but comedy. Man. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I didn't, I didn't raise six kids. I got, you know, when I got my wife, she had four kids. Mm -hmm. so I done raised six kids off of comedy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've been, you know, instrument in a life. Like, you know sure. what I'm saying? All the games, all the practices, all the, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I wake up when I want to. You yeah, know what I mean? That's, like, that's, that's and it's a peace of mind. Yeah. Like, like the, 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 like my brother, you know what I'm saying? He work, he work at a plant. Yeah. And, you know, he's like, man, you need to come over here, man. I'm like, I'm straight. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, bro, get the check. You know? yeah. Now he talking about, man, I hate this place. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's the he make way more money than me. He make over hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I make probably close to that, or sometimes, and sometimes it may be McDonald money. Yeah, but, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But for, sure, but but for the most part, I'm, I got a peace of mind, and man, I can. That's major. And it, and it's a possibility that I can get two hundred thousand. I get. I know how to get it. Yeah. I can get that. I can get. You know, if I got everything lined up right, I can get that and more. For sure. No, and that's major. We said peace of mind because I'm been working at Chrysler for a little bit. And I'm just seeing people coming in early, staying late. Like, bro, you in here for fourteen hours, and you ain't got no time to kick with your lady, with your kids. Like, you missing it. Then once you, you retire, that window is is closed. Well, you know my what brother saying? got a motorcycle, two old school cars. Uh, um. Uh, a whole bunch of other little toys like he got a bunch of stuff yeah. that sits in his garage for sure after I leave here I'm going to get his motorcycle exactly exactly. <laughs> he gonna be like what you doing man nigga you about to be at work exactly you go sure. in at 3 you don't get off to 5 in the morning yeah man you know yeah. what I'm saying and like, like I used to always turn down overtime cause I just wanted to spend time with my kids you feel me like yeah. no I don't want I want to be able to do my outside activities and not just be stuck in here Real talk, and a lot bro. of times you will lose yourself, and then by the time you retire, dog, you know you're sixty. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I told him. I just told him another. I said, bro, what you gonna? I said, you gotta think of some kind of way. To, you know, I know it's like he 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 done moved up, moved up. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know his position, but he like over everything. For or sure. something. He hiring and firing and doing a whole bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. And um, I said, dog, at some point you gotta have an exit plan. No, I said, for sure. I said, you you going? You about to be forty one right now? I said. In a few more years, everything that you was trying to do that's fun. I mean, mm -hmm. you gonna let you look like sixty five on a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, What's sure, up, yeah. boy? Y'all think it's good? Where everybody yeah. <laughs> Nigga, all your friends dead, bro. Nigga, ain't nobody to play with no more, man. You been gone. You been in the plant, nigga. Go on. <laughs> you might now you gotta go sit in the house and watch TV in the couch. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. nigga, that ain't fun. He said, "What y'all niggas on? What y'all niggas on, man? Where everybody at? Nigga, they dead. <laughs> they dead, bro." <laughs> now you are trying to make new friends yeah, at 65. Now you got to make 65 year old friends. What's going on, man? What's up, Willie? Man, nothing, man. Bingo. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, but yeah, man. Like, like it's nothing wrong with getting a check, man. But like you said, you got to have an exit plan, man. Have like, an exit plan, man. And don't be scared to jump in. Um, You know, don't don't work. Don't let nobody box you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm tired of niggas telling me what I can and can't do. Mm -hmm. You can't, you know what I'm saying? I start, I start, because people will say, man, you can't do this. You ain't gonna be able to do this. Like, even my one man show, dog, yeah. 1,600 people. It sits 1,600. That theater sits 1,600 people. People are like, man, man, get just get a 200 seater. Get a mm -hmm. get a 150 seater. Like, man, this boy, he gonna make it intimate. 
Cause I don't want to. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to, bro. Yeah. I want to do man, you ain't but Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, watch this. Man, for even, sure. even my five years in the game, man, I filled up Renaissance High School. I rented that out and did my one man show there. Mm -hmm. And filled that up with six hundred people in there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I did that in five years, I should better do this in, exactly, in, for in sure. fifteen years. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Fast, man. And if I don't, so what? Oh, yeah, so I what? Tried, yeah, bro. Exactly. I shot the shot. You know exactly. Yeah, you gotta shoot them up. Yeah. I'm a Uber, I'm a pull. Hell yeah, you can't, you can't <laughs> be. You know what I'm saying? I miss, I miss. Yeah, you got you got you, like you said, you gotta pull that trigger, dog. I've got you to gotta pull the trigger, bro. And you don't know you don't know you don't know if you can hit it if you shoot it yeah exactly exactly Hell, now you uh 13 years in the game i mean you say 13 movies did you do movies just to may maybe get yourself more looks as far as being a comedian or you just wanted to do movies i like movies you know I, like like after this show right here i'm transitioning i'm still gonna do comedy but i'm gonna do a lot more traveling and you know what i'm saying like For i'm sure. gonna hit you know funny bones and all that but here in the city i'm about to just me and my boy then started it. We done wrote. We got about six scripts written. Mm -hmm. Um, I got um five more episodes to my sitcom written. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So like, dog, this is this is the you new. Say six movies, huh? Six scripts. If you ever need a dude to say, man, put that shit down. Oh, <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll be third number two, dog. <laughs> but, but, I'll talk about, hey man, put that shit down, man. <laughs> I get shot, whatever, dog. Yeah, yeah. I just wanna see myself real quick. Yeah. This nigga been in the movie five seconds, got shot and shit in the club. <laughs> <laughs> Shane came out, yeah. I can't wait to see it though. Yeah, what was in? Uh, shit, I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like a whole extra. I just yeah. get shot. Yeah. yeah, cause I had what's name was on here, man. Uh, Ooh. Thomas Harris, and I told him the same thing. Like, listen, bro. I just need to get shot. And, uh, and, and yeah, McGraw, man. Thomas Harris, that's my boy, man. Yeah, that's, now, I get buffed up with him. For sure, yeah. That's a cl dog, classic, classic movie. Yo. Classic. That's our Friday, bro. Yeah. Like, that's a classic Real movie, talk. man. And you did the, the mule. He, that's, yo, that's yo, something mule, he did, too. Uh, yeah. Birthday behavior. Yeah. Y'all yeah, see yeah, that? That's some chicks and birthday behavior. Yeah, I played. Uh, yeah. I, was, I was the pastor in the, um, yeah. I was the pastor in the, in the, in the strip club on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, man, Detroit, man, we do our thing. I, I, I think, like, right now, we getting a lot of... Yeah. yeah, we get a lot of time, looks, man. Yeah. We get a lot of looks as far as movies and and and, and um and music and stuff like that. And it's time for shoot, people to take advantage of this, man, because we getting a lot of looks that we never really got in the past. Real talk, bro. And people ain't afraid to come mess with us like they used to be. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, when you talk about Detroit back then, like shit, we can't come trick trick, nigga. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> even yeah. though shout out to trick trick, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's a little different now. It's and and now nah, I tell people all the time, man, we got the power in our hands. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? To do and be whatever you want to be right now. For sure. No, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's up to you what you want to do right now. Facts, you know what I'm saying, man? If I want to, if you want to create a podcast, you, you did what you want. You 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 put this. You got these things right here. Boom, put this. Get got my man right. Like this is a podcast. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You say I want to do it. You do. You yeah. doing it. You want to write a movie. You want to shoot a movie. We have the cameras. You know what I'm saying? Start shooting a movie. Yeah, fast, fast. You know what I'm saying? Fast, man, fast, man. Now we we getting towards the end, man. But the last thing I want to uh, ask you before we get to our ending questions is um. Is it something that you, you know? Of course, you're gonna say what you love about doing movies, what you love about doing comedy. What do you hate that you gotta deal with when doing this? I remember comedy, man. Was I remember when I first started? It was like uh, everybody wanted to be a headliner, meaning the last dude to go on stage. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I used to watch the guy R.I.P. Downtown Tony Brown, R.I.P. My oh, man yeah, Kool Aid, sure. yeah, uh, yeah. some of the legendary comedians in this shit, man. Um, I watch these dude. We all go up and they go up and kill it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? After we go up. I was like, man, I can't wait to be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Cause your face be big on the flyer and everything. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it, I remember at one point, it goes, they face was big, and then we just had our names on it. I'm yeah. like, I want to be a headliner. Yeah. I hate being a headliner now, bro, because now you have to sit around, dog, and watch <laughs> 13 comedians. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You gotta watch all these niggas. Some good, some ain't. It's for torture. Sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, damn. Sure. You know what I'm saying? The show started at nine. It's like 11:30. <laughs> And they like, and then by the time, and people leaving, you know, people get restless. All right, yeah. I'm gonna get no party here. You know what I'm saying? You seeing people leave, and you seeing this other dude, he on stage, man. Knock, knock, who is it, man? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He asking his own self, who is, who is it? Knock, knock. And you like, man, dog. dog. And so by the time you go up, it was. It started off with sixty people in the audience. It's it's, it's four people, and you yeah. like, what's up, y'all, man? And, um, anyway, man, let me get in, you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta wait them them four yeah. up, dog. And acting, I hate. <sighs> I hate being on set and like, I it it just takes so long. Yeah, no, nah, to fast. shoot yeah. this part, to shoot a, shoot this right here. Hey man, what's up, man? I don't know, man. Went to the store. Mm -hmm. All right, so where my man at? I don't know, man. He came back yesterday. Yeah. All right, cut. All right, shoot that. Then let's get it from a different angle. Yeah. All right, no, no, no. Oh man, you messed up on your words. All right, let's shoot that up. Okay, lighting. Um, such such like nigga. Yeah, yeah, that sure. takes so long, bro. Man, that's the only thing, but. 
And I think too, it would be more fun if I was making a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga, give you a bag, man. He go 50,000, 50, man. Yeah. We just need you to, you know, be on time, shoot to say, oh, I'm bad. Yeah, you good. I'm straight, nigga. Yeah. I'm locked down for two. But when you're thinking about all the stuff you got to do, I got to show tomorrow, bro. I got to go get this money, man. DTE, dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This little, you know, 10,000, they give me a five. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, I ain't. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, facts. So. Yeah, man. Now, man, towards the end, man, I always do like verses, man. I give you two things to people, whatever. You tell me who come out as the winner. All right, Bernie Mac versus Dave Chappelle. Ooh, damn, bro, that's dope. <laughs> oh man, dog, Godly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> oh man, bro. Um, Legends, man. Bernie Mac versus Dave. Yeah, but, I go with Barney, man. Yeah, love Barney Mac, man. Rest I, peace, I love Dave Chappelle. I think he wanted he a genius, but you know he be he, he, he started talking political and, he, and take a minute. You know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. figure out the funny in it. Barney go, I'm in the, yeah, I'm, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm with that. All right, Bill Cosby versus Eddie Murphy. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I knew Cosby would you do. That's what I wanted to. Um. What you what you mean in career wise or just saying like um, I guess versus if they damn. line up all they they body of work or something or? I mean yeah you could do that yeah because they both got shit yeah. a lot of shit on their on they, on they resume damn man I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go with, with Bill man yeah even though I don't want to because I know Eddie <laughs> Cole I mean I don't know I just tough man yeah. I just yeah uh this episode this this TV show Martin versus uh, Fresh Prince. Like they both are two totally different what's the name yeah. type of shows one you know what I'm saying but like uh, alright which it. which one you felt make a bigger impact then to make it a little easier uh, probably it was Press Prince though yeah I, do, I, I feel like I feel like Martin just you know everybody know him you know what I mean yeah like, for sure yeah, for sure yeah. but then when I was watching that I what's just, name um, his uh, reunion yeah, like dog just how many characters he got into like as far damn as, like, my Martin <laughs> he did a lot dog like, yeah I go back who your Martin. favorite uh, Martin character from the show dog uh, 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 Kung Fu dude. Yeah, Dragonfly Jones. Yeah, Dog, Dragon yeah. Dra it's between Dragonfly Jones and probably. Otis. Yeah, Otis was funny, but uh, Jerome, you gotta go Jerome. Oh, Jerome, nigga, yeah. have you Jerome? <laughs> you got Jerome oh. Roscoe. Yeah, I got. Uh, I go Dragonfly and Jerome. Uh, what's name from accounting? What's my man's name? Uh, the uh, white. What you play the white dude from accounting? White Mike. Yeah, Mike from accounting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, this is your, this your favorite Jamie Foxx show versus Wayne Brothers. Jamie Foxx. You did you, what you want him to do is because he swear to God Wayne Brothers was a trash show. Wayne Brothers was um, <laughs> I wouldn't say trash. Yeah. But uh well, it ain't, Pops trash. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. Definitely Pops made that boy uh yeah, uh, yeah, I All know right. what you Chappelle show versus Living Color. What's wrong with this nigga? <laughs> Damn. That's a, a, it's two different areas. It's two though. different like, areas. It, it's so. It's like Chappelle show. Yeah. Chappelle show. Yeah, Chappelle. All right, all right. Damn. Ma mama cooking versus wife cooking. Did you you know what I'm saying when your mama was throwing um, down? What do you think? Um. Make... You go again, man. My mama dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. She ain't here. Duh. <laughs> they can say the wrong thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Man, cut the cameras, man. Up, no, I did. Cut the cameras, man. What would they about, keep saying? Yeah, because I be going to cry when I think about my mama chicken. <laughs> yeah, my mom, my mom, my mom. Okay, okay. LeBron versus Kobe. Gold. Get dunked on or getting crossed? Which one is more embarrassing? Dunked on. Yeah, see, I I get crossed like you know what I'm saying. It can happen. You can kind of you know. Yeah. All right, all right. Get, oh, get no fall off the crossover again. Dunked on. How am I getting dunked on though? Nigga, just body body. Like, and then. You jumping yeah. up with him. Am I like, falling back? Yeah. Both of them, you on the ground. I'd rather you cross me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just something about dunked on. Yeah. Because a nigga don't swing on the rim. He See, might lock his legs on. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You never know what's going on. Did Shaq do that to Chris Dudley, dog? Yeah. Then yeah. shove him. Like, yeah. Man, man, you can't do all See, that. See, me being a little dude, I'd rather get dunked on to get crossed over and fall. Yeah. This is because uh, I'm, I'm already. They already. Yeah, 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 yeah. They expect yeah, me to get dunked on anyway. If yeah. I'm jumping with somebody, but, but you if I'm, said body to body. But if though. I'm getting, yeah, I don't want to get dunked on by somebody my height, and I can't jump. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> we both five eight. This nigga just got springs. Oh no! <laughs> All right, Athens versus comedy. I know what you're gonna say with this one. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, Athens versus comedy. I don't know. I, I it oh. really ain't that easy because oh, um, I I, I want to say acting, but 
I like I love comedy, man. Yeah. I love being able to I love being free up yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And especially when I'm on this, in the zone and it's just and it's like it's like a rhythm. Mm -hmm. And it's like you can't miss. Oh man, yeah. it's the best feeling, dog. For sure. Now you seem like a fresh dude, dog. Fall gear versus summertime gear. Uh, I like the fall, man. I'm a fat nigga. I, yeah, like, the, I, like, to I like to cover up a little bit. Yeah, for sure. You know All what right. I'm saying? I'm gonna nigga keep the pull in front of his stomach. You know what I'm saying? What up, though? Boy, y'all good? You know what I'm saying? Bro, <laughs> last one. Daylight versus nightlife. Uh, daylight. I like daylight. Nightlight, man. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I be sleep, dog. Yeah. <laughs> ain't gonna lie, man. I be like, I'm gonna go home, man. Yeah, for sure, man. All right, top three. Top three childhood celebrity crushes. Oh, uh, I thought you was about the name. So I thought, like, oh, this no. nigga know my celebrity crushes too. No. <laughs> this thing is a genius. Um, huh. New celebrity, like, damn. She, I wish I could get her when I get older. Yeah, that's, a, man, that's a bunch of them, man. I was like, top three, though. Let's see. Which ones, which ones are the ones that stand out, dog? I like Laura London. I used, to, I used to like her a lot. Man. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I like the all of uh, I'm the older Yonix man. I like all the uh, involved. All oh yeah, involved bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Involved bad. Who was the one who um who branched off and did that uh that that um CD with uh with dude from Tony Tony Tony? Oh, uh, that's the leader group. Leader, yeah, I kind of uh, like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah me the best. too. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Tall. So you said uh, in Vogue and uh, <laughs> this in Vogue. They can see. Yeah, in Vogue, all of them. All right, all give me your uh your top three fools. Man. Before just before you went to yeah, and switched no. over, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a, uh, a steak dude. Okay, steak good. Cold, it took me to get older and realize you don't get your steak well done. I think, I think well yeah. done, that boy. And that's gonna be nasty as hell. Yeah, I, I, I still be. I don't. I don't really like the pink. Meat I don't want. No, I don't want pink, but I just kind of want like yeah, like yeah. a little bit over overly, medium. I don't want it overly cooked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you chewing for two days. Yeah, but, <laughs> but um, the steaks. Um, I'm, I'm old school dude, man. I like I like baked chicken seasoned real good. Oh yeah, if you take you know some baked chicken good, you man, seasoned yeah. real good, man. man. I'm, I'm on that. Yo. Yeah. What's um, your last one? Um, I I started loving uh salmon, man. <sighs> yeah, my wife does. She go crazy with that. Yeah, job. like when it's cooked right, man. Salmon burgers. Yeah. Salmon croquette. Shout out to what's name. They messed up my salmon croquette, dog. Cuz I was, man. Oh, yeah. I was disappointed, highly disappointed, dog. That's man. the last meal my mom made before she passed away, and I had it with them, and it was terrible. <laughs> I was mad as hell. Like, when your mom passed away? Uh, April 2nd, 2012. Oh, okay. So it's been a minute. Cuz was out then? No, no, no. I'm saying I just had Cuz uh that last weekend. Oh. And but the last time I had Summer Coquette, that was her last meal she made for us. Oh, okay. I'm that, was like, her, that was her. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. like damn, this nigga. Yeah. This nigga, wait, wait. <laughs> she went through a time machine. Like, no, yeah. no, no, no. Me and my mom was at Cuzzles in 2012. Oh, no, no, no. She made she, that shit. And that shit should be good. Like, oh, yeah. salmon, rice. That's all my grandma. My grandmother, man, used to, man. Man. Oh, man. My grandmother's a beast, man. Like, yeah, man. You come over her house, dog. Anytime during the day, something already cooked. For sure. I yeah. think she was just like losing her mind. She used to cooking for a big family. And, yeah. And, 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 and so she just would just be doing stuff. Like, I'm like, oh, who made dog? Like, why is it greens and macaroni? And <laughs> on a ain't random nobody Thursday. Over here yeah. On a Thursday. Like, yeah. And you, like, nobody's going to be here. Like, you know man, yeah, man. Shout out to Grandma Food, dog. Uh, yes, sir. Give me your top three Jordan numbers. Jordan numbers, like to my shoes. Yep. Uh, the ones, um, ones for show. Sure. Uh, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, the sixes, man. Yeah, sixes classic. Uh, the sixes was the first shoes I was like, I was. I got. Let me tell you. This. So, <laughs> it used to be the shoe store called Sports Authority. I'm oh a, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So I was young, but yeah. Nigga, um, I used to take my shoe. This dude he used to work there. He's like, yeah, man, all you gotta do is bring them back. Yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, tear the little part off, mm -hmm. and you can bring them back. Yeah. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, it'll bust the bubble. The bubble he, was the, he was the manager. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, bust the bubble. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my grandmother's like relit, like she was Jesus. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. But she, I would have her to take me up here, go take these shoes back, and she'd be like, "But you know, you know, the Lord don't like that." I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll be right back, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> he go, man, no. the, the bubble busted, man. I was, I was playing in like a bunch of tournaments, Gus Malcolm tournaments, and yeah. them niggas be like, "Damn," because I try and clean them up. <laughs> And them boys might be Mother banging beat. a little bit, nigga. I'm in the eighth grade, like they boys, man, yeah, swinging. Swing. They still wet for me cleaning them. Nigga, open a box. I remember one time, the dude opened a box and just looked at me like, 
Um, all right, well, yeah, what size are these? A 10? Yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah. Duh. Man. See, I, I know about that, but they say you had to mail it back in, though. No, man. I remember when, they I, when I was doing it, you, you was like, you bring it right to the store. Damn, stove. I didn't know about and that. I was, nigga, I was taking them back so much. My boys like, damn, man, you cleaned the hell out of them, man. <laughs> like, they, they ain't know. They're like, this nigga just cleaned it. <laughs> Clean your shoes again, nigga. Keep your shoes dog. clean. Hey, like, knowing that, I was like, man, it was like, like them niggas with the white Air Force Ones, dog. The shoe pods, dog. Nigga, my, my boy was polishing the hell out of them shoes, dog. Yeah, clean them up, crease like crazy, though. But him, yeah, nigga, every 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 uh, other month, and nigga, wheezy man, polishing that, them boys. Hey, that's how I was, bro. I remember growing up, like I told you, girl poor, like Damn, I shoe polish. going into the seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> so my old dude bought me some shoes in June, yeah. right? And the nigga promised that I'm gonna get some shoes before school start. Nigga, school, get ready to start. I'm like, hey, Dad, you know, school start Monday. He was like, yeah, wear the ones. We, you still got the ones you got in June? I'm like, yeah. No, man, I can't wear them outside. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you tore them up? I'm like, I mean, they ain't good. It been a whole summer. Good, man. Yeah. Like, I, I remember trying to, I put the white dye on them boys. Duh. Then I put the baby oil on them. <laughs> And then I set them by the heater. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm gonna let it soak in because it look all dull. You know what I'm saying? Then I took them back off. I'm like, took yeah, them pat leather, dog. <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. <laughs> then I put some Vaseline smearing that on them, dog, and kind of loosen them up, nigga. Put them back by the heater. My mom was like, why is this heat on so hot? I was like, because I got to drop them. I got to get my shoes moist. Duh, man, damn. Man, them boys, nigga. I went to school. They was shining. Niggas was like, man, this nigga, man, what you been doing, bro? Duh, damn. That's funny as well, dog. Last top three, dog. Give me your top three hoopers. Oh man, Ever. Jordan. I gotta go with my boy Isaiah because I love the nigga. For sure. And um Top three ever. And I gotta go with the young fella, man. I must have, my son gonna be mad if I don't say his boy. This nigga loves Steph, man. Oh yeah, I was about to say, Steph Curry, you think with this last ring he got and him winning MVP, you think he didn't crack that top ten ever? Yeah, he gonna he, I mean, I think without he was to me because he changed the game, bro. You had, you know, what I'm saying you had people. He changed he messed the, game. the game up too, though. He, he I'm, did. I'm gonna say why. He did because niggas, everybody trying to beat niggas man. can't shoot. Go to L.A. Fitness and try and hoop. Duh. Man, I hate these niggas. Ain't bro. nobody posting, dog. Oh man, niggas pulling from half court Duh. can't make it. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Going straight out of bounds. That's why we tell my son, like nigga, like my son, like he go to a rat a lot. Like dog, you man go to a rat, bro. Get that little mid range pull up, man. That yeah. little mellow on, dog. Yep. You be good, bro. Because yep. everybody shooting threes. I'm in his game. Dog, everybody is at the three point line. I'm Niggas like, the coach, ain't, the coach ain't saying nothing, dog. I'm talking about all five. It's like they're playing a motion out. <laughs> everybody just on the. Dog, like, dog, nigga, ain't nobody passing, cutting. Like, that's one of my drills we do every day before practice. We do a pass cut drill, yeah. dog, for like the first 10 minutes. Just so niggas can get used to it because the niggas just pass you a ball and look at you. Either you're yeah, going to get it back or just, That's it, bro. So he, he messed the game up for niggas who can't shoot, but. That 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 dog, he can shoot that for the blood. That boy, dog. Yeah, he, he, he ain't nobody, ain't nobody can shoot. Like you him, never, man. you never knew somebody who can get you excited off a three pointer like LeBron dunking on somebody. Like mm -hmm. he the first person niggas get hyped. Like damn, nigga hit five in a row. Like ain't he, he shooting that boy? He ain't looking like this nigga dangerous with that mud, dog. Right, dog. dangerous man. All right, man, we ain't everything off, man, with a high moment or a drunk moment, man. A funny story when you was high, drunk, or both. Boy, I'm really why I don't smoke weed. I, I tried to smoke weed a couple times. It always be a chick though, you know what I'm saying? For sure. If she smoke, I'm like, yeah, let me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna smoke with you. Man, though, I smoke, nigga, uh, my wife, nah. Like, the one with nah. Yeah. So I'm over her house. I'm talking about, uh, my wife smokes. Her friend smokes. Yeah. You know, her niece, her niece, actually. So I'm over here kicking it with her at the time, you know what I'm saying? Her niece over here. And they smoking. I'm like, I'm gonna smoke, smoke with y'all. <laughs> so nigga, I start smoking with them, right? And this is back when regular weed. Like, yeah, you know regular. Yeah, it's it's like 2010. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's regular weed. <laughs> and I don't smoke with them, nigga. And I start like, I remember somebody told me if you if you if you thinking that you high, you high. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You be like, man, am I high? You ask yourself that. Yeah. That mean you high. <laughs> so I start feeling like I think I'm high. And I'm looking at them. They just chilling, like looking at the TV. We was watching um. <laughs> Was watching um, what's the one Dave Chappelle when the, when the when the dog was flying in the air and all oh, that? Oh, uh, half bait, half bait. Was yeah. watching that, and nigga, <laughs> I'm like, dog, I'm high as hell. <laughs> and why y'all looking so regular? You know what I'm saying? So I went to the bathroom, bro. No lie, nigga. I don't know why I did this. I took her toilet seat off, <laughs> and then put it back on. I'm like, no, why? Like, I don't know why I did that, dog. <laughs> to this day, I still don't know why I did that, dog. I'm like, why did I do that? Then I start feeling crazy, like, nigga, I don't even feel like I'm here for real. 
I'm like, I'm, I mean, I start asking myself questions like, hey, how your arm move like that? Like your arm move, nigga. What makes your arm move? Like, are you really inside your skin? Duh. <laughs> and then when the more questions I start asking, the more I'm like, oh, am I really inside my? Nigga, I'm about to die. And my heart start beating. I'm like, I'm about to, nigga. I gotta go. Like, duh. If you know you how we used to start asking yourself the random questions, bro. Because like, like, I don't oh. smoke either, and like. Whenever I try, though, I just think too hard, bro. Man, I said, I, I can't do it, bro. I, like, I, I can't smoke, man. Man, I was about to go to St. Andrews. I remember I was in the shower. like, dog, I'm in here forever. But I couldn't get out. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't get my leg to get up out this mother, dog. Nigga. You, you start thinking extra hard. I'm talking about shooting, nigga. Like, not, not knowing how to talk about shooting, just, dog. I just got to hide my, my boy J. Will spot, like, by mistake, though. Oh, come J. Will? Yeah. Hey, yeah, man, I'll hit you up on Instagram, man. You, you, you probably see it. Uh, <laughs> he, he just called me. Man. I was going to just call yeah. But but so uh, <laughs> so we we had you know I don't smoke but nigga, we had we had his spot like nothing but weed like, yeah, I'm for sure about, fast, we yeah. in the back room I'm talking about nigga all you gotta do is do the yeah you, you, you know what I'm saying <laughs> everybody what up, what up? you know what I'm saying it was so much weed being passed and so I went up on stage I had like they started at seven thirty <coughs> and by the time the second show was like eleven o'clock so by the time the second show happened nigga brought me up nigga I was in that boy like. What's up, boy? What's up, man? Y'all niggas good? Duh. Ah, what's up, boy? You messed up. <laughs> man. Yeah, niggas trying to roast me and everything. I couldn't even think of nothing though. quick enough. I was like, yeah, nigga, what, nigga? <laughs> nigga, look at your shirt, nigga. <laughs> no, I ain't no oh, that's nigga. Ah, oh, man, nigga, squirrel. Nigga, you a squirrel, nigga. <laughs> Fuck nigga, you supposed to be in a tree? Like, nigga. <laughs> Like my mind, I couldn't think bro yeah. fast, you know what I'm saying? Duh. Niggas know me, like I get on you, you yeah. know what I'm saying? If I get on you, I'm on you. Yeah. But I couldn't come with, I was stuck, duh, man. Duh. And my, my boy Blackberry, he was in the corner, to him, get up, Craig, <laughs> get up, Craig, duh. Craig, get up, Craig. Man, we, uh, we ain't for everybody, bro. They ain't for me, ain't bro. For everybody. Man, I appreciate you coming out here, man. No doubt, no doubt, man. It was good to have you, Hey, dog. man, make sure y'all tune in and keep watching them, man. They man. doing their thing, man. It's comedian Mike Larry. Follow me on Instagram, any of that. Comedian M I C L A R R Y. Uh, don't forget, July 30th is where we need to be, man. Sure. Stress to impress. I'm taping it for Netflix, hour long comedy special, man. Okay, where can you get the tickets, man? At the door, or website? Uh, website, uh, um, or, or go to my page, man. Inbox me, I'll send you the link. I got the link in my bio. Okay, for You know sure. what I'm saying? The link in my bio. A VIP tickets is $50, but includes food and it's the front row. And general mission is only $25, man. For sure, for sure, man. Like I said, I appreciate you coming on, man. Episode 123, Mike Larry, man. Podcast oh, MVP. That's Michael Jordan, 23, B. Oh, yeah. Hell, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Hell, yeah, man. Podcast MVP, man. Voice of Detroit, man. We out this thing. Yeah, yeah.